Hello everyone, I'm Anthony O'Hare from BSF. And we're really pleased to be part of Port Science Week Online. So thanks to Adam and the team for allowing us to be part of this really good digital initiative. So what have we got for you today? First of all, we've got our nematode technical expert, Jorge Tirado, uh, talking about the biology of lion weevil and what damage they can do to plants and um, what problems they will cause. Then we've got Anita Gupta, who's going to talk about um, the nematodes themselves and uh, the benefits of what the nematodes will bring to your plants. After that, we've got a factory tour, virtually of course, and we're going to show you behind the scenes of how our nematodes are actually produced in the largest nematode factory in our site in Littlehampton. After that, Sam Rivers is going to talk you through how to apply nematodes out in the real world, showing you how they're applied on plants like you're producing. So, on behalf of myself and the team of BSF, thank you very much for joining Hort Science Week Online. Hello, my name is Jorge and I work for BASF as a technical specialist in beneficial nematodes. So black vine weevil or simply vine weevil larvae and pupae are creamy white and grow up to one centimeter long. Both stages are susceptible to nematodes, especially the larvae. Adults are black with orange spots on their wing cases and about one centimeter long. Although the adults are unable to fly and often hide during the day, they are very active nocturnal walkers. All adults are female and don't need to mate in order to lay fertile eggs. They normally emerge in May, June and start to feed on the canopy, leaving a distinctive notching on leaf margins and about five weeks later or so, they start laying eggs around the stems near the soil surface or deeper in the ground. Depending on the soil temperature, the eggs hatch within one to three weeks and the newly hatched larvae feed on fine roots. Larvae can cause the death of the plants due to excessive feeding on the root system. The larvae overwinter in the soil as pre-pupae, it means as mature larvae, and pupate in the spring. Some other adults may also overwinter. Their life cycle is normally completed in one year. However, population in glass houses may have two generations per year with adults emerging as early as March or April. It means under warmer conditions, vine weevil can reproduce all year round and all life stages may overlap and be present at any time of the year. This diagram represents the vine weevil life cycle in outdoor conditions. The green squares represent the susceptible life stages to Steranema krausi, when the soil temperature is likely to be above 5 degrees Celsius. Nematodes should be applied every four weeks from August to November, and also in March and April if larvae and pupae are still present in the soil. For this, you must inspect your crop by lifting the plants in hot spots and inspecting the root balls. These are our recommended dose rates. Please remember that the soil must be moist on application and remain moist for at least two weeks after each application. Also avoid applications in bright sunlight, as nematodes are killed by the UV light. Late evening applications are best. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Tom Goddard, Fermentation Manager for BASF at our crop protection site here in Littlehampton. Welcome. BASF's crop protection site in Littlehampton has been based here for 30 years and it's the largest specialist nematode production facility in the world and the only one in Britain. The whole production process begins in the laboratories. We grow six nematode species at the facility and the laboratory process starts by passing nematodes through an insect in order to prove their efficacy. Only the nematodes that kill the host are used. 
The team are also continually working on formulation packaging improvements here in the laboratories, as well as teaming up with local and international researchers to discover new and potentially useful species. We pride ourselves on the quality of our nematode products. Quality control ensures that all stages of the production process perform to the highest standards. Further detailed quality control is carried out to test quality and performance. For example, we test the health and efficacy with the use of a bioassay. We start by mixing a small amount of nematodes with the associated bacterium specific to the species. We control the conditions of the flask cultures specifically to each of the species requirements, including temperature, aeration, nutrients and many other factors. The nematode and bacterium have a symbiotic relationship as the bacterium is stored in the gut of the nematode and assists the nematode upon feeding on its host. In the flask culture, it multiplies. Once it reaches maturity, it's used to seed the fermentation stage. Here we prepare the food source in which the nematodes will grow. The food, or media, is similar to that used in the flasks but on a much larger scale. Again, this is specific for each species of nematode that we grow. Once mixed, the media passes through this uniquely designed steriliser and directly into the sterile fermenter. The whole process takes the best part of a day to complete for our larger fermenters. We recently doubled our existing production capacity due to strong demand for Nemesis and Nemeslug products and have the potential to grow a further 50%. We now have over 190,000 litres of fermentation capacity on site and that can hold a total of 40 trillion nematodes. It is here that large-scale mass production takes place. The fermenters that we use are specifically designed to meet the needs of our nematodes. Our team carefully define and control the environment to maximise the growth of the nematodes. We do this by controlling many factors including temperature and dissolved oxygen. The media, bacteria and flask inoculum are transferred under sterile conditions. Once within the inoculum fermenter, the nematodes multiply considerably. Once this is completed, we make a sterile transfer to the main production vessels. This is our largest production vessel with a capacity of 75,000 litres. The 75,000 litre vessel will produce around 8 trillion nematodes per production run, depending on the species. We have a number of other large vessels throughout the factory which vary in size to allow for flexibility within the production process. We have 20 vessels ranging in size from 180 all the way up to 75,000 litres. The fermentation process takes between 14 and 28 days, depending upon the species. We avoid cross-contamination with other products or with external contaminants through careful sterilisation techniques. Once completed, the nematodes go through downstream processing before being sent to the wash tanks. To begin the downstream process, the nematode mixture is passed through a bespoke centrifuge, which uses centrifugal force to separate the nematodes from the spent fermentation media. After centrifugation, the nematodes are stored in wash tanks where they're kept cool and cleaned. Before we package the nematodes, we remove the water using this filter bed. The nematodes are then mixed with a small amount of inert powder formulant to provide stability and quality. In this room, formulated nematode product is packaged into trays, sealed and immediately refrigerated for storage and distribution. Beneficial nematodes are distributed from here to destinations throughout the world to users in commercial markets as well as homeowners. Product quality is continually tested and maintained by keeping the product refrigerated and by providing efficient logistics to all of our customers, which is a key BASF skill. Shelf life is dependent upon nematode species, but ranges from one to three months for our customers. BASF, we create chemistry. We here at BASF are extremely proud that our nematode products are part of the global biological story. We take pride in the fact that our nematodes provide ex excellent control in commercial situations and this is largely due to the high quality of our products. Steinonema krausii is one of our unique products. This controls black fine weevil larvae and works at low temperatures from 5 degrees all the way up to 30 degrees. Our nematode products are uniquely packaged in a tray. We have, over our long history, tried many different packaging types, including bags and boxes, and concluded that the trays deliver the nematodes in the most consistent manner. The tray is robust and hence able to withstand transport from our manufacturing plant in Littlehampton. The tray allows the entire product to be washed out 
when applying and of course, vitally, it is recyclable. The pack you will receive will contain an entire dose in a clean and inert formulation. The nematodes, as a live product, have the ability and will move around a little. It is therefore imperative to treat the pack as a dose and use it in its entirety. The top of the product has a specially designed film with micro perforations. These allow gas exchange between the nematodes and the environment. You may notice that the nematodes sometimes congregate around these microscopic openings. This is entirely normal. If you are a regular user, you may notice that there is often a difference in what looks like varying amounts in the pack. Rest assured, this is due to natural biological variations in live material, and the numbers of the nematodes, or the dose, stated in the pack will always be present. The pack will show an expiry date. We here at BSF can guarantee the product's infectivity right to the end of this date. The virulence of the product does not decline until after this date. On opening the pack, decant the entire contents into a bucket, top up with at least 10 litres of tap water and agitate the solution. This needs to be done before and during application through the, your chosen irrigation system. If this is not done, the nematodes will settle down quickly and drown. We as manufacturers also take great care in forming partnerships with specialised, trained and above all caring distribution partners. Please do not hesitate to contact them if you need any further information. Hi, I'm Sam Rivers. I'm the Technical Area Sales Manager for ICL. I'm here on a working nursery in the UK today, going to be showing you the practical considerations on how to apply our Seeker nematode range. Once you order your nematodes, they will be delivered securely to your address. Uh, upon receipt, the best thing to do is put them straight in the fridge unless you're going to be using them uh, immediately. You should also look inside the packages to make sure there are no leaks or spillages or damage to the packs and that they are in date. Before you apply your nematodes, you should consider the area where you want to be applying them. You should look at the meter squared of the area you're going to be applying them, your pot size, and you should look at the type of crop you're going to be applying to. Some crops are more susceptible to vine weevil than others. Depending on your nursery, vine weevil life cycle stages can be found throughout the year. Consult our website, iclprotect.com, or speak to one of your local area sales managers for more information on this. You should consider the time of year. Growing media temperature can differ in the winter compared to the spring. For colder times of the year, and when pot temperatures are down to 5 degrees C, you should be looking at applying the vine weevil seeker CT or cold tolerance. When temperatures reach above 12 degrees C in the growing media, you should be looking to apply our standard vine weevil seeker. When applying nematodes, it's best to consider the timing of application. A day like today, where it's bright sunshine, is probably not the ideal time to apply them. The best time to apply nematodes is early in the morning or late in the evening. When you're applying nematodes, you want to consider the ir irrigation system you're going to be applying them through. You may have a knapsack sprayer, you may have overhead irrigation, and maybe for a sprinkler system. These are all important considerations. Pre and post application of nematodes, we recommend you use spotless nursery to thoroughly clean your equipment. Before applying your nematodes in your equipment, make sure the equipment is primed, ready for use to optimize your nematode application. This can include things such as making sure the filters have been removed, nozzle pressure is a medium coarse grade, all this information can be found in our online seeker brochure or from one of your technical area sales managers. Another important consideration is the flow rate of your application equipment. To calculate the flow rate, this can be done by taking a measuring jug and calculating how long it takes you to fill up one litre. This information is important as it will enable you to calibrate the correct application rate of your nematodes. After applying the nematodes, you can monitor for effectiveness by lifting up a pot that you know has vine weevil in it. It's advisable to put a flag in before application so you know which pots definitely have vine weevil larvae in. You should be looking for symptoms of discoloration of the larvae and immobility. To create a stock solution, I'm going to be demonstrating this with a 50 million pack. 
The requirements for this are to fill a bucket up with 10 litres of clean water. But first you should fill a bucket halfway up. This bucket is already half filled. Next, take your nematode pack and apply the entire package to the water. Make sure that you get all the remaining nematodes off as there's probably quite a few on the package itself. So you can dunk this in the water just to make sure it's clean. Once applied to half the, half the bucket, then top up the remainder of the bucket. Once full, the best uh, application advice is to gently stir the nematodes as they are very susceptible to settling in the bucket. Once they're mixed, you need to constantly agitate the nematodes as they will settle. You can use magnetic stirrers to do this if there is only one person available to do this job on the nursery. Once you've made your stock solution, the next step is to apply it to your application equipment. In this case, we're using a knapsack sprayer. So what you would do is consult the information that is given to you either online or with the packs themselves to figure out the correct amount to apply. In this case, we're applying 250 mils of our stock solution to an knapsack sprayer. Once you have the fraction from your stock solution, you want to be applying it to your application of fitting. In this case, we're using a knapsack sprayer. Before you apply it to a knapsack sprayer, half fill the equipment with water. Make sure that all the application procedures have been followed from your nematode brochure. You can remove the fine mesh filter of your knapsack spray and then gently apply the nematodes into the volume in the knapsack spray. After that, you can then fill up the rest of the knapsack to the required amount. You can then place the equipment back on the knapsack and you're ready to apply the nematodes. With your stock solution, Make sure it is out of direct sunlight and put in a shady spot under cover, ideally. Also ensure that they are constantly agitated. Now today is not the ideal day to be applying nematodes, so I'm just going to be running through the practical considerations of how to apply them correctly to the ground. You want to be applying nematodes directly to the soil, as this is the ideal host environment. This is not always possible with dense canopy crops, so it's best to make sure you wash them off after use. After applying the nematodes, we recommend watering them in with irrigation water. This will allow the nematodes to reach their target environment quicker. For this purpose, we recommend using ICL's revolutionary penetrant, Transporter. This can be applied when you're making up a tank mix. ICL offer a comprehensive pest management plan for vine weevil. Today I've talked about our Seeker nematode range, but we also have products such as Pitcher, our revolutionary garlic extract product, which controls vine weevil egg stages. For more information on this, please consult your local technical area sales manager or our website. Thank you.